Hi everyone, it's Mrs Parr here again. At the end of the last session, you were left with this independent practice activity. It says, can you write some pairs to some pairs of addition equation to go with this image? OK, um, and we were asked to remember the generalization from the last session. Should we just check that again? If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. Let's see how you got on. So I've rearranged my backpacks to make it easier to see my add ends. So I've put my blue backpacks over here and my yellow backpacks here to help us write our equation. So the first equation I've written is we have two blue backpacks plus four yellow backpacks is equal to six backpacks altogether. But if we wanted to start with the yellow backpacks, that would be fine. And we would write our equation like this. Four backpacks plus two backpacks is equal to six backpacks. Now, I wonder, did anybody arrange theirs in a different way? Did they not use colour? Maybe you looked at a different thing to organise them by. There we go. Now I have a group of two big backpacks and a group of four little backpacks. But actually, they're exactly the same equations. Our two here and here represents our big backpacks. And our four here and our four here represents our small backpacks. So today we're going to carry on looking at addition, looking at adding, but we're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to think of it as a story. Instead of putting two groups together, we're going to start with a number and look at our story through the numbers. OK, so tell me what you see on the screen first. Good, we've got one child on the swings. First, there was one child on the swings. Then three more children came along. Now there are four children on the swings. So our story goes in that direction and let's have a look at the numbers. We've got one, first there was one, then we added three, now we have four and here is our equation. One plus three is equal to four. So in the last session, you learnt that if we change the order of the add ends, can you finish that sentence for me? The sum remains the same. Well done. OK, so let's give that a go. We're going to change the order of the add ends. Here are my pictures. And now we're going to add the story. So our first add end here is three, then we add one, and now we have four. So there is our equation to go with our pictures. Everybody happy with that? Have you spotted a problem? Have a look. Here is our first add end three. Does it match our picture? No, it doesn't, does it? I've changed round, I've changed the order of the add ends, which is fine, it gives us the sum four. Our equation here makes sense, doesn't it? But it doesn't match the pictures. What do I need to do? I need to change my story round as well. Okay, so now I've sorted out my pictures, I've got a different picture to begin with. What could you say about that picture? First, there were three children on the swings. Then one more came to join them. Now we have four children all together. Excellent. Let's have a look at our number sentence and our story then. Three is our first add end, isn't it? We have three children on the swings plus the one that comes along and now we have four all together. So our equation is three add one is equal to four. We have exactly the same sum as last time. We've just swapped our add ends around and that meant we had to change our story, didn't we? So here is our first equation again. We can see that we have one child 
three more children and now we have four and here we begin first of all we have three children then one more comes so we have four altogether can you see that the sum is the same in this equation here up here what does the one represent good it represents the first child doesn't it but down here what does the one represent here it represents the then bit the then one more child came here our three represents the three children that came but down here our three represents the children that were there first well done can you spot the bit that's the same well done you know this now doesn't don't you it gives us the same sum both equations give us the same sum so we know then that because both of them sum to four we can see here that one plus three is equal to three plus one if we change the order of the addends, the sum remains the same. So let's have a go with another example. First, what can you see on the bus? First, we have six children. Well done. You might have spotted that there's four on the top and two underneath. So all together there. First, we have six. Then... one more child wants to get on now we have seven well done so have a think what are our add ends and what is our sum first we have six children then one more is added now we have seven here is our num our equation down here So let's try swapping those add ends round in our story now. Can you think our add ends before were six, add one. So what do you think they might be this time? There's a bit of a clue on the screen there for you, isn't there? Good. Our first, we have one child on the bus. Can you think what's coming? Then, I bet you were right, six children wanted to get on. Now we have seven. We have the same sum. We started with one first. We had one child. Then six more came. Now we have seven. So our add ends have been swapped round, but our sum remains the same. So let's have a look at our equations and our pictures side by side again so we can compare the number sentences, compare the equations. OK, so here we've got first we have six children on the bus. Good. So this add end here, what does it represent? The six children on the bus. Well done. And the one represents the one child there. OK, here. We've got a different equation down here because our add ends, sorry, have been swapped round. OK, so have a think. What does the six represent in the first picture? What does the six, re six represent in the second set of pictures? Good. First of all, the six represents the first children there. Then the six represents the six children who want to get on. Now have a think about the add end one. What does that represent in the first set? What does it represent in the second set? Good, there's the one child who's getting on in the then section. But here, our one is our first add end. So we know that both equations give us the sum seven 
OK, whichever way the add ends around gives us the sum seven. So we also know that six add one is equal to one add six. It doesn't matter. We've just swapped the add ends round. If we change the order of the add ends, the sum remains the same. So here we have some pictures and you're going to have a go at writing the equations to go with them. Before you do that, I just want you to have a look. What is the same about these two picture stories? What is the same? Have a good look. Good. I bet lots of you have spotted that the now picture is the same. Do you remember what the now picture represents? It represents the sum. Well done. We're going to end up with the same number, the same sum at the end of our equations. But these bits are going to look a little bit different. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video and have a go at writing the equation for these once you have told the story. Tell the story first. OK, so tell the story of these pictures and then have a go at writing the equation and then tell the story of the pictures at the bottom and write the equation for that. Off you go. OK, let's have a go at doing this together then. Let's have a look at this one. First, there were three flowers growing in the pot. Then one more flower was planted. Now there are four flowers. So let's write our number sentence for this. Let's write our equation. First, there were three flowers in the pot. Then one more was added. Good. Now there are four. So our three plus one is equal to four. OK, let's have a look down here at the bottom. First, there was one flower growing in the pot. Then three more flowers were planted. Now there are four flowers altogether. Should we write this one as well? OK, first there was one flower in the pot, then three more were added. Well done. Now there are four. Excellent. Can you see, children, that you have just swapped around the add ends? There's the three, there's the one and the sum has remained the same. Well done, everyone. So this is what I'd like you to do for your practice activity now that we've finished the lesson. You are going to draw out on a piece of paper or a whiteboard or whatever you've got to hand with, your, um, with an adult with you. You're going to draw your three boxes first, then and now, and another three boxes underneath first, then and now. OK, and you are going to draw your own pictures for your story and write your own equation. OK, so you're going to have your first picture in this box first. Then you're going to need to draw whatever you had in your first box and then whatever's coming to join it, whatever your second add in is. Now and we'll draw the picture of your sum. OK, then you're going to swap them around the add ends round first. You're going to have the other add end, then what comes to join it now should be the same sum if we've got it right. If you're not sure, you can always go back and check in our flowers picture to see how we did it there. And maybe you could even do the same flowers for a practice go if you're not sure. OK. See you soon. Bye.